Hey, hey, hey. It's Blast from the Past. Seven. And I decided to do my old exotics. Lane one, we have the Aston Martin Vulcan. He's got a couple of race wins. One of them was in supercars. Didn't last long, but he has that stigma. He won a race in supercars. He made it. Lane two, we have the Pagani Hira. He got a couple of minor race wins. Lane three, check out this sexy beast. It's the Dodge Viper SRT with six minor race wins. Lane four, former supercar with 11 wins. A veteran of supercars is the 2017 Acura NSX, favorite for this race. In lane five, we have another Aston Martin. This time it's the Valhalla. He has one minor race win. And these are some interesting cars. We got what we got two British, Italian, American, and Japanese. We got a good variety here. <clears throat> Colors, kinds, creeds. This is a good race to start off with. Good race, nice to play under the flat. So I was dropping off on the inside. And Acker and Viper are head to head. You see Acker, he's pipped him by a nose. That was a great race and a good win. One race down and we have the favorite in the championship race. For race two, lane one, we have a Nissan Silhouette. Beautiful, he's got a race win, but in Street Wars. Lane two, former supercar. He had a win there. It's the Lamborghini Murcielago. That's a nice looking car, isn't it? I love my first Lamborghini five pack. Lane three, another former supercar with one race win. It's a Liberty Walk, Lamborghini Huracan. Yes, I like the livery on it, it's very nice. Lane four, another Japanese car. We have the Toyota Supra. It is nice. He did make it to supercars, but didn't win a thing. Lane five, this guy did. It's the Lamborghini Centenario Roadster. He won a race in supercars. So the favorite for this would have to be the Mercia Largo. All of these cars could do with a win. They have so few. Who's joining the NSX? Another good type race. Mercy Lago leads in two. The Huracan come up fast up the middle. Centenario in third, but it's the Huracan Liberty Walk winning the race by a bumper. That was close. Two races down, and we have a bull joining the Japanese. Acra NSX for Liberty Walk Huracan reliving his glory days, both reliving the glory days of supercars. Race three, lane one, we have a very nice car. It's the Alfa Romeo 8C Competizione. Very nice. I love this color. He hasn't won a thing. Lane two, we have Daddy's Bugatti Chiron, former supercar with 10 career wins, a veteran. And he would be the race favorite today. Lane three, another former supercar, the Lamborghini Gallardo, just the one win. Lane three, we have the Alpine A110. This is a nice car. Three minor race wins to him. I think he'll give the Bugatti a run for his money. And lane five, we have the Koenigsegg Jesko. Another former supercar with two wins in the league. Well, who's going to take that third spot? We're going to get another bull in. We're going to get something else. 
Let's find out. Oh, finally, since we're setting four, oh, just because I need to hammer on the inside. Bugatti's come up fast in line two. The Bugatti's head to head with him. The Bugatti pips him. That was a good win. Good race. I thought the Alpine had it, but no, it's the Bugatti. Bugatti Chiron joins the ranks of the championship race, which leads us to race four, lane one. We have a 2020 Jaguar F Type Project 8. Beautiful car. He's got a minor race win to his name. Lane two. This is a hot car here. It's the Nissan R35 GTR silhouette. He is a former Japanese manufacturer's classic champion and a former Street Wars champion. Five minor race wins. In lane three, we have a former Exotics champion with five race wins to his name also is the McLaren F1. Beautiful car. Lane four, we have a Porsche 911 GT3. Very nice car. Yet to win a race. And lane five, we have the Lamborghini Gallardo. A matchbox car. Hasn't won a race. So it's between the silhouette and the McLaren, I feel you'd have to give it to the McLaren just for being an exotics champion. Let's see if he can join the championship race. So what is the Jaguar on the outside? Porsche is making a run in four. Jaguar's coming back, it's head to head, the Jaguar has beaten us. Silhouette, that was close. I thought he was gonna win, but no. A very close race and a good close win to the Jaguar who joins the championship race, pipping the Nissan Silhouette. Race five, last chance, last spot up for grabs. Lane one, we have a Lamborghini Huracan. He has one win to his name, Minor. It's a nice looking car, I like this blue. Lane two, former supercar and favorite for this race is the Renault Sport. Four wins there and two Minors. He looks great. Lane three, we have Daddy's Lamborghini Veneno. Toby's is a huge grand champion, two times of supercars. Uh, this guy, well, he's missed out. He does have an exotics championship to his name, though. So he's quite quick. Lane four from Matchbox, we have the Subaru SVX. Eight minor race wins. He'll give the Renault a run for his money, that's for sure. And lane five, check out this. Mercedes-Benz AMG. Spectacular. Looks good, runs like a brick. Wow, who gets the last spot? I'm thinking SVX might upset the Renault, but Renault's got to be the favourite. Let's find out. Renault leads onto the track, the SVX in four is coming up hard after him. Renault knows past him into the second, but Renault holds him off the Renault. Wow, that was a good close race. They've all been good races. We've made it to the business end. It's the championship race of Blast from the Past 7 Exotics. And it's good. It's like the Exotics, sorry, the supercars of old. Lane 1, we have 2017 Acura NSX. He has the favoritism. Lane 2, we have a Lamborghini Huracan, Liberty Walk. Lane three, veteran from the old days of supercars, it's the Bugatti Chiron. Lane four, we have a 2020 Jaguar F-Type Project 8. And lane five, another blast from the past, of course, from supercars, it's the Renault Sport. Wow. Let's see, one more time these guys will race. Can they beat the Acura? Let's see. Well, 
at least on the start there before Arathi's hammer. Akura's hit the turbo in lane one. He's passed in the Bugatti. Oh, he's trying to catch him, but he won't. It's the Akura NSX beating the Bugatti. Renault end up in fourth.